will James Roby get one more outing at Old Trafford? His final appearance here as a St Helens player. He'll be hoping it won't be the last game of that illustrious career. He leads out St Helens here. Wonderful evasion. It'll be a fireman. Louis. A character. Oh, and the yeah. ball. This is a line break now. And the ball back on the inside. Try St Helens. Don't celebrate. St Helens celebrate. Sitting it through the line. Ball back on the inside. And the Champions League. Well, we mentioned, didn't we, that St. Helens have opened them up two and three and four times, and they had to wait until 25 minutes on the clock before that man, Lewis Dodd, he starts all the movement off, supplies Curtis Sheridan with the ball. It's James Bell, rather, Sheridan on a wonderful line on the outside shoulder of Drinkwater. Sheridan, a try scorer two weeks ago against Warrington, now his try provider. It's Saints who strike first, 4-0, kick to comp. Getting the metres back downfield here. Oh, solid set from them. You know, it's Drinkwater. Dummies gets it away to Dufty. Short pass here now to Wrench. Wrench is away. Away. And Wrench is quick. And he's got Nicholson on his inside. He doesn't pass. He gets up and he'll score. Connor Wrench gambled that he could be the fullback. And the gamble pays off to send the Warrington fans into Ranchers. Just the start the Wolves needed. And Connor Wrench with a moment of brilliance has got the Wolves right back in this contest. Well, it was a wonderful set from Warrington out of their backfield, hard direct carries, just gaining 40 metres, and then they decide to move the ball on tackle four. You can see Dufty swinging out the back, making himself a threat. He supplies the pass there. He gets on the outside of Hopawate, does Connor. When you think, oh, he's blowing it here, but he regathers, recomposes. And that's a wonderful try, a huge score in the context of this game. They've just got level, but can they hang on? Saints with Lomax, short pass Hopawate. Hopawate's manhandled to the ground. Good defence from Russell. Lomax, Swarmsley, wrapped up by Bullock. They're on him, they know he's a danger. The trouble is there's danger in every one of those red and white shirts. St Helens, such a good side, coming again now with Bell. Root one stuff as he carries within five. Roby will get it away now to Lomax. They've got numbers. Wellsby didn't pass, just now pass. Chance in the corner. Saints are over. Tommy Makinson. Look like the chance had gone, but Makinson held his nerve and finishes. And St Helens hits straight back. They lead by four. I called it, Mark. It was a huge, huge set there for Warrington defensively, but they couldn't answer the threat of the men in the red V, and it's that man, Makinson. Tommy Makinson scores his 23rd try of this season, and how important may that one be? All 20 away, here now is Lomax. And by collects. And by now jinx his way through. Oh, he's Moses gone. and by still going. And by now racing downfield. Support overruns him. And by will take the tackle. 25 away. Saints moment to wrap up. This match could be coming now. Dodd, short pass to Surinan. Surinan offloads back to Dodd. Dodd looking to keep it alive, finds Benison. Benison wrapped, that was high. Penalty. And this is a penalty now. And St Helens might be a goal kick away from a place in the semi finals next weekend. Strikes it true, strikes it through. Mark Percival continues his fine run of form with a boot this afternoon. And Saints are almost there. Unless it's an eight-point try, it'll be in vain. But where there's hope, Warrington will keep trying. Williams is going to hoist it. A high swirling kick. One more catch for St Helens. The ball bouncing around. It's hacked forward and that will do it. We are down to the final four. James Roby might be bowing out here at St Helens, but he's got one more to do at least, and hopefully for him and Paul Wellington it'll be two.
Roby rolls on. It'll be 551 and counting next week. Celebrations here in the Betfred Super League.